While quite a few recent Hollywood offerings have been let down by bad twists, there are still plenty of writers in the business who know exactly how to craft a good twist, and their movies are all the better for it. So that being said, I'm Jem from WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 recent movie plot twists you never saw come in. Number 10. Run. Diane isn't Chloe's mother. This swelteringly tense Hulu original tells the story of Chloe, a wheelchair-bound teenager trying to escape from her sinister and overprotective mother, Diane. Ron is not only an effective, superbly acted thrill ride, it also contains an end of second act rug pull. Diane isn't Chloe's mother at all, and she stole her from her birth parents when she was a baby. That shows exactly how to do a thriller plot twist. First up, as a good twist ideally should be, it's a hell of a surprise. The film's cleverly edited flashback openings strongly imply that Diane was Chloe's mother, but as it turns out, the baby we saw in the opening was Diane's daughter who died shortly after childbirth. Furthermore, startling though it might be, this is a twist that stays on the right side of ridiculous and it also does wonders for the overall movie. This reveal levels up the entire picture and takes it to thrilling new levels of sustained, white-knuckle tension, cementing the run's place among the best thrillers of the 2020s so far. Number 9. A Haunting in Venice – Rowena Did It the fact a haunting in Venice didn't use the ending from the Agatha Christie book it was adapting is a twist in itself, to be fair, for most Christie films do follow her plots pretty closely, and why wouldn't they? No one could write a clever whodunit like she did. 2017's Murder on the Orient Express was a faithful, perhaps overly so, adaptation of the novel, while 2022's Death on an Isle, though reasonably faithful, made the wise choice to deviate from the source material and take the story in some dark new directions. A Haunting in Venice takes this to the next level by being the loosest possible adaptation of Halloween Party, a late Hercule Pyro book that relocates the story from rural England to Venice and bases the murders around a seance instead of a Halloween party. The film also changes the final reveal, as in the book there are more killings, and Rowena, played by Kelly Riley, is working with a character who wasn't even included in the movie. By contrast, the film has Rowena acting alone, and also includes a plotline about her unintentionally killing her own child in a chilling example of Munchausen syndrome. Better still, the final reveal in the movie is seriously clever and sees screenwriter Michael Green delivering a final rug pull that would make Dame Agatha Christie herself proud. Number 8. Saltburn – The Lies of Oliver Emerald Fennell's feature tells the story of Oliver, a working-class Oxford student who goes to spend the summer at the estate where his wealthy friend and crush Felix, played by Jacob Elordi, lives. Throughout Saltburn, it was clear there was something a little bit off about Oliver, especially after a certain scene involving a bathtub, if you know you know, but he generally came off as eccentric at worst. That is, until Felix takes Oliver on a surprise trip to visit his estranged mother and discovers that Oliver was lying to him all along. Despite Oliver previously claiming that he came from a broken home and his father was dead, he in fact comes from a loving middle-class family and his father is very much alive. It's a startling reveal that catches Felix and the audience off guard, and it's also a case where the twist arguably saves the movie. Saltburn does suffer from fairly slow pacing for much of its first two acts, and this rug pull is what really kicks Saltburn into high gear and sets the stage for its shocking final act, in which Oliver murders Felix and most of his family too. By the time the film concludes with its already legendary ending, Oliver dancing naked around Saltburn Estate to murder on the dance floor, it has firmly established itself as, flaws and all, one of the most shocking films of 2023, and a reminder that Emerald Fennell is a true master of the plot twist. More on that soon though. Let us know what you think in the comments down below, and while you're there, drop us a cheeky like, share, and subscribe too. Number 7. Missing – June's father is behind it all Missing, a screen-life thriller about Los Angeles teenager June, played by Storm Reed, trying to find her mother Grace, played by Nia Long, after she disappears during a vacation in South America, might not have quite lived up to the sheer brilliance of its predecessor. 2018 searching, but it was still an impressive nail-biter. Furthermore, it did one-up that first film in one way. The climatic twist was better and a little less predictable. The movie's entire plot is filled with clever twists and turns, 
ones and it saves the best one for last. June's apparently dead father, James, is alive and behind the entire scheme. Years earlier, Grace had actually gone into witness protection to escape James, who was an abusive criminal. This is one of those twists that is barely signposted throughout the film, and while sometimes such an out of nowhere twist is jarring, yeah I'm looking at you, now you see me, in this case, it's a reveal that's both blindsiding, yet also believable in the context of the plot, efficiently tying all of the story's mysteries together and leading to a thoroughly tense climax. As well as being a follow up to Searching, Missing is also set in the same universe as the aforementioned run and made by the same creative team. These guys certainly know how to pull together a good mystery. Number 6. Orphan First Kill – Trisha is a Killer Orphan First Kill, a belated prequel to one of the finest studio horror films of the 2000s, is absolutely fine. It's watchable and modestly entertaining. This mid-film twist, on the other hand, is astonishingly good. First Kill sees Lena, played by Isabel Furman, escaping from an institution and fleeing to the United States by posing as Esther Albright, a missing girl from a wealthy American family. Later in the film, when Lena goes to confront a detective who's on to her, Esther's mother, Trisha, played by Julia Styles, suddenly walks in and calmly, coldly shoots the man dead and reveals that she knows perfectly well Lena isn't Esther and has done from the very beginning. Esther's brother Gunnar accidentally killed her during an argument and Trisha faked the entire abduction to keep him safe. It's not only a shocking twist, but it skillfully one-ups the film as it turns into a battle of wits between Lena and this brutal cunning femme fatale who is a terrific antagonist played excellently by the underrated Julia Styles. This rug pull is the one thing that's likely to really stay with audience after Orphan First Kill concludes, we have to say. Number 5. Bloodshot – The False Memories This one is a bit of an anomaly because, for some ridiculous reason, it was given away by the trailers. However, if you go into Bloodshot without having watched those trailers, this is actually an excellent plot turn and easily the smartest thing in what is otherwise a rather silly movie. For his first half, Bloodshot appears to be telling the story of murdered soldier Ray, played by Vin Diesel, who, having been resurrected with experimental nanite technology that has turned him into a superhuman, is seeking revenge on the people who murdered him and his wife. Once Ray kills Martin Axe, who is the apparent culprit, the film drops a mid-film twist that flips the entire story on its head. It turns out the one who apparently saved Ray, Dr. Hartling, is the real villain. He's implanting false memories in order to trick Ray into killing various people who he wants dead, and the man Ray has just killed was innocent. In fact, Ray's wife is alive and well, and she and Ray were no longer together when he died. This was a fascinating turn of events, and it transformed Bloodshot from being a generic revenge thriller into something more complicated and compelling. This twist didn't necessarily save the film as a whole, but it definitely improved it. Number 4. Thanksgiving – Eric Did It as already stated, quite a few contemporary Hollywood films are dragged down by lacklustre plot twists. And one thing Hollywood just cannot seem to get right at the moment is the twist villain, something there's many terrible examples of in recent years. That's one of the main reasons why Sheriff Eric Newland, played by Patrick Dempsey, the antagonist in Eli Ross' infectiously enjoyable slasher romp Thanksgiving, is just so satisfying. Newland, who's killing everyone he blames for the human crush that killed his pregnant lover on Black Friday one year earlier, is a twist villain who actually works. As well as being a generally effective villain who benefits from viscerally intense murders and a motive that, unlike with many twist villains, doesn't feel petty, the reveal that Newland is doing all the murders is a startling one. Roth filled Thanksgiving with clever red herrings to lead viewers away from Sheriff Newland, and it was a clever subversion in more ways than one. Authority figures are rarely the killer in slasher movies, and casting such as a likeable actor as Patrick Dempsey, who we have to mention was just voted Sexiest Man Alive by People magazine, was a masterstroke. And Dempsey, to his credit, played against type well. Number 3. Oxygen – Liz is a Clone this rather overlooked sci-fi thriller, Oxygen, is a tight and intelligent claustrophobic thriller in which Liz wakes up in a failing oxygen chamber and tries to find a way out. And is yet another film that piles on twist after twist while managing to make pretty much all of them feel logical and earned, which is no mean feat. 
As far as those twists go, Oxygen saves the real blockbuster for towards the end of the film by revealing Liz is actually a clone and is also in space, being transported to a new human colony along with around 10,000 other clones. They're all fleeing Earth, which has been decimated by a virus, and this is a twist that's both unexpected and pretty awesome too. Oxygen, as well as being an inspiring showcase of what a movie can do even when it's mostly confined to the smallest possible space, is also one of the twistiest films of the 2020s so far, in the best kind of way. Number 2. Argyle, Ellie's Parents To be clear, Argyle, the story of Ellie, a spy novelist who is being pursued by real spies because our novels keep predicting real-world events, is a terrible movie. A lifeless action comedy frequently devoid of thrills or laughs, this is a film so bland it makes Kingsman The Golden Circle look like kick-ass. Still, Argyle's mid-picture twist is legitimately brilliant when taken on its own terms. The reveal that Ellie's father is actually Ritter, the villainous intelligence agent seen in earlier scenes, is a genius jaw drop. That's not quite as shocking as what happens next though, when Ellie's own parents try to kill her off. Not long after, Ellie meets former CIA director Alfie Solomon, who's a completely wasted Samuel L. Jackson, who explains that she's actually a former spy suffering from amnesia. Her parents are both members of an antagonistic spy organisation called The Division, who pretended to be her real parents and took her in. Her novels are a result of her suppressed memories from her time as a spy, and they were just waiting for her next book to reveal the location of the master key. This was honestly a great twist in its own right. Our goal might be painfully unoriginal in most ways, but it did at least have one genuinely clever idea up its sleeve. And number one, promising young women, Ryan is a bad one. This is a plot twist that's likely to traumatise the audience. The protagonist of Emerald Fennell's stunning directional debut is Cassie, played by Carrie Mulligan, who, devastated by the assault and subsequent suicide of her best friend, has been enacting a campaign of revenge against those responsible. Nonetheless, at the advice of her late friend's mother, she eventually abandons her revenge scheme, tries to move on, and even begins a romance with a very likeable doctor named Ryan, played by Bo Burnham. Until, in a horrifying twist, it's revealed that Ryan was involved in the assault of Cassie's best friend. Promising Young Woman does a wonderful job of getting the audience invested in this romance, and before that twist, it was heartwarming to see Cassie healing and moving past her trauma. As such, this was a shattering gut punch of a revelation. It's also a great scene that shows the film's wonderful, Oscar-winning screenplay at its best. In a tragically believable way, Ryan refuses to take any responsibility and doesn't even apologise, instead just repeatedly asking Cassie to forgive him and shrugging off what happened. This is quite arguably the best twist of the 2020s so far, and it's a definitive testament to Emerald Fennell's skill as a writer. It seems a foregone conclusion that her next film will feature yet another shocking rug pull, though it seems unlikely she'll be able to top the impact of this one.